God bless you, people of God. This is your bishop. I want to share something very important with each and every one of us. You all know that if there's anything I value in life is God and the Word of God. Without God, I am nothing. I have come to learn about this God. I thank God for the experiences I have had since I gave my life to Christ. And I'm not going to uh, probably try to uh, maximize you or sweet talk you or try to, um, you know, um, make you laugh. It's not about laughing. Yeah, sometimes um, we say something humorous uh, because we know that God is humorous. Our Father is very, very humorous. And so I am using this telecast to share something important with each and every one of us. The relationship we have with God. If I wish and if I have my way, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What I'm trying to say is that I'll be sleeping in the altar 24 hours 7 just to be in the presence of God. Children of God, I begin to understand something about Job as I come to realize the Bible said he was a man that feared God. On the other hand, he was a man that loved God. One of these days, I'm going to talk about the love of God. I'm going to talk about what it means to love God. And when we say we love God, we have to understand what we are saying. I know that if I will ask a question, how many of us love God? Of course, we are going to raise our hands and we're going to say we love God. You remember that place where Jesus said to Peter, Lovest thou me more than this? Do you love me more than this? More than what? More than what? Because several times Peter have left the work of God and went back into his profession, into his fishing business. And Jesus asked him, Peter, do you love me more than this business? You know, in as much as we know, he said, do you love me more than this? He was literally saying to Peter, do you love me more than your profession? Do you love me more than your career? Do you love me more than, you know, what you have? Do you love me more than, you know, whatever the business it, it is? Do you even love me more than yourself? <laughs> it, quite, it was quite amazing that Peter answered that question and say, you know that I love you and you know that I would do anything for you. Remember that Peter had made that statement before. When Jesus, uh, 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 when Jesus uh, uh, was talking to them about his death, Peter said, Oh, nobody can do anything to you. I am Peter. I'm going to fight. I will fight whosoever. I will fight anybody. I will fight any man. I will fight anything whatsoever. It's very, very interesting to have seen uh, the way Peter exaggerated 
uh, how he was going to fight for Jesus. But it wasn't long then when Jesus was arrested and Peter could not live up to what he said. Everything he told Jesus he will do. Peter turned and said, I don't know the man. I've never seen this man. When he was told, we saw you and you are one of the chief disciples, he rebuked the person. Today, in a modern day language, I swear to God, I don't know the man. <laughs> Children of God, all I'm trying to say is that be real. If you want to serve God, come out and serve Him. If you want to walk for God, come out and walk for God. If you want to do your thing, then get out and do your thing. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. It is impossible. Some of us claim to have loved God. Some of us claim to have, you know, serving God. But even me, looking at you can tell. Are you serious? Are you for real? No. Ask yourself this question. Are you real? The Bible told us that Job, every day, we offer sacrifice unto God. Just to show God his love for him. Every day. Every day. You know what I start to do now? Even the day like if I travel, I'm not here. I keep my offering aside. Knowing that I'm going to miss church, I put my offering aside. It's not about money. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. It's not about money. It's about the relationship I have with him. I know he's expecting my offering and I want to put my offering down. Listen, I'm not talking about money. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about money. I'm just talking about the love and the relationship. What kind of relationship do you have with your God? What kind of relationship do you have with God? When God look at you, when God look at you, can he say, oh yeah, there's nobody like him. Just like he testified about Job. Just like he testified about Job being a man who hates evil, but loving God. Ah. People of God, when we look at Job, Job is our mirror. Job is a glass that we use to look and see if we are one third of what Job is. And so I'm using this opportunity to say to you, what kind of a Christian are you? What kind of a Christian are you? Are you the one that serves God the way you want, not the way he wants? When you go to church, one day in a week, it's a big deal. What kind of a Christian are you? And then, what kind of a Christian do you want to be? 